Okay, for the top part, I already filled in the amplitude, but remember to find the period, you go from one corresponding part to the next. So the period right here is 2 pi. So for the equation, you're going to use 4 because it, it's sine and it's going up. So if sine starts at 0 and it goes up, it's positive. And then I need to figure out the B. So the B is the period, take the period, and set 2 pi equal to 2 pi divided by B. So in this case, B has to be 1. So this is going to be 1 times x or 1 times theta, either way. The second one, the period is going from 0 to, this is pi over 2. So the period's pi over 2. So you're going to do 2 pi divided by b. So pi over 2 equals 2 pi divided by b. So b has to be 4. 2 fourths reduced to 1 half. So it's going to be y equals, and it's positive because it's going up. So it's 3 halves sine of 4x. And then over here, the period is pi. So the equation is y equals, now this one's going to go negative because it's going down. So it's negative 4 sine. Now I have to find b. So I set the period equal to 2 pi over b. So b has to be 2. So it's four, negative 4 sine 2x. So down here, what you're going to do is graph it. So if the amplitude is 2, my function is going to oscillate between 2 and negative 2. And it's positive sign, so my period I'm going to break up into 4. So it's going to start and go max, 0, min, 0. Max, 0, min, 0. And keep going. And then over here, my amplitude is 3, so I'm going to go up 3, down 3, and the period's 2 pi, so I'm going to break the period into 4, and it's already actually already broken up into 4. So it starts at 0, it's going to go up, max, 0, min, 0. Oops, be a little neater than I am right here with this. Like here. And then down here, we're gonna we actually have an equation. So with our equation, we can find our amplitude and we can find our period by doing two pi over b. In this case b is one, so the period's two pi. And now we're gonna graph it. So I'm gonna go up to two, up to two, down to two. My period's 2 pi, and it's positive sine, so it's going to start right here, and go max, min, or max, 0, min, 0. And it reads that I need to graph it from negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi, so I need to go back, keep going, keep extending the pattern. And then number 7. The amplitude is positive 3, even though that's a negative. To find the period, I do 2 pi over b, which is 4. So the period is pi over 2. So my amplitude is between 3 and negative 3. And my period is, you're going to have one cycle in between 0 to pi over 2. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go down because this is a negative. And I'm going to go 0, max, or min, 0, max. So you're going to have two cycles within pi, or one cycle within pi over 2. So I'm drawing it like an upside down U, or a, a U and an upside down U. And I'd keep going. And you can keep going. All right, so find the amplitude and period of each cosine curve and then write an equation. So the amplitude of this one is 5, and the period is 2 pi. 
this is a negative cosine function because you're starting down. Because remember, cosine usually starts up, so it's going to be the opposite. So y equals the opposite of 5 cosine. And my b is, my period equals 2 pi over b. So that means that b has to be 1. So this is just negative 5 cosine x. Here my amplitude is 1. The period again is 2 pi, so I know that b equals 1. And this is also another negative cosine function because it's starting down. So it's y equals negative 1 cosine, and my b is 1 because 2 pi divided by 1 is 2 pi, so it's cosine x. And the amplitude here is 4. It's a positive cosine function because it's starting up, and the period is pi. So to solve for b, I set the period equal to 2 pi over b. So this means that b has to be 2. So my equation is y equals 4, it's a positive 4, cosine of 2x. And then down here we're sketching, sketching cosine functions. So this is, the, the period is 2 pi divided by 2, so the period's pi. The amplitude is 2. So I'm going to let the function go back and forth between 2 and negative 2. And it's a negative cosine function, so negative cosine starts at the min. So then it's going to go 0, it's going to go min, 0, max, 0, min because the period's pi. So, this is messy here. I'm gonna zoom in. So, this should've been, this should've been a zero right here. So I'm gonna keep going. So it goes zero, or min, zero, max, zero, min. And I can go over to the left. So z min, 0, max, 0, min, 0, max, 0. Keep going. And then this one, the amplitude's 3. So I'm going to go across 3. It's going to, it's a cosine function that's positive, so it's going to start up high. So it's 3. So the period is 2 pi over b. So the period is 2 pi over 4, which is 1 half pi. So that means in between here and here, there's going to be one cycle. So it's the positive, so it goes z max, 0, min, 0, max, 0, min, 0, max. Keep going. You can go the other way too. And then down here, y equals cosine of theta over 2. Amplitude is 1. And now this is actually 1 half, half out front. So your period is equal to 2 pi divided by, this is 1 half. So 2 pi divided by 1 half is actually going to be 4 pi. So it's still going to go between 1 and negative 1. And your period's 4 pi. So 4 pi is off the chart, so that means we're only going to get half the cycle. So I start at 0, and I'm going to go to, or I start at, I need to erase this, I start at 0, or at the positive part, because it's a positive cosine. And then I go to a 0 at pi. And then I go to a min at 2 pi, so we're really getting just a really wide wave here. So a 0 at negative pi and a min at negative 2 pi. So this is one full cycle right here. This cycle is, from, is 2 pi or 4 pi long. So if we could make, if we could extend this graph, it would just keep going this way. And then number seven, 
your amplitude is 4, so here's your 4, and your period is 2 pi divided by, the number in front of here is pi, so the period is 2. So in this case, you have it, you have it diagrammed of pi. I'm going to change this, this scale to be 2 and 4. So that we're not, I don't have it really in radians, I have it in terms of pi. Or I have it, I don't have it in radians, I just have numbers here. So I start at 4, and within, between here and here, I'm going to go, you have a cycle. So I'm going to go 0, min, 0, max. 0, min, 0, max. like this.